What's up and welcome back to the channel. Rather than giving you guys my usual recap intro, I actually have a pretty fun video in store for you today. So during round one, I ranked every starting goalie for the playoffs and you guys really seem to like that. So I'm bringing it back for round two and we're going to be ranking every remaining starting goalie in this year's Stanley Cup playoffs. Now this is going to exclude guys like Kachekov, Allmark, and Thatcher Demko since they are not considered starters for my list. We're going to be ranking just the one through eight guys who are currently starting in net for their respective teams so if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet make sure you do that now and let's get right into this one coming in at number eight i have a tourist Salovs. he's been very good for the canucks this year but i think we all can agree that he's number eight right now his playoff numbers are four games played with three wins a shutout a 908 save percentage and a 2.28 goals against average i think for a guy who's the third string goalie for a team those are some great numbers, and I think the Canucks are really riding off his early success. Do I think that he's going to stand up against the Edmonton Oilers and their insane power play? No, I don't. I just think that he's the number eight guy on most people's list, so that's where I'm going to put him. Coming in at number seven, I have Alexander Georgiev. His playoff numbers right now is an 891 save percentage and a 3.10 goals against average with five wins in seven games played. I think Georgiev is a solid goalie. He's been shaky for some parts of this postseason, but in this second round, he's been pretty solid, especially against the Dallas Stars team that has some great offensive pieces. Now, other than Salavs, I think it's pretty clear that Georgiev belongs in that number seven position so that's exactly where i'm going to put him on my list i'm confident in him but not 100 coming in at number six i have Stuart skinner and i think he's been phenomenal for the oilers aside from that first game against the canucks i think he absolutely could have performed better right now he has an 893 save percentage with a 3.01 goals against average in six games played with four wins and one shutout compare Stuart skinner to last year and he was very shaky for the edmonton oilers i really do think he's going to be the successful piece for this team if they want to go on a deep run this year they need solid goaltending and Stuart Skinner he's kind of been the answer for them so if I'm the Oilers I'm feeling very confident in this guy but there are still some better goalies than him remaining in the playoffs Coming in at number five, I have Frederick Anderson, and at the start of the playoffs, he would have been way higher on my list, but right now, after his recent play against the Rangers, I gotta knock him down a bit. He has an 899 save percentage with a 2.58 goals against average, with four wins in seven games played. He's yet to beat the Rangers in this series, and I feel like the Anderson that the Canes were expecting just really hasn't showed up on this big stage. And this has been a problem for the Carolina Hurricanes in the past like three or four seasons. Their goaltending, it's fine throughout the regular season, but once they get into this deep competition with a successful team in the playoffs, they sort of just choke, and I think that's exactly what Anderson is doing here. Right now, he's letting in some soft goals and was even replaced by Kachekov in that recent game. I would love to put Anderson higher, but I think number five is a good spot for him. He's about middle of the pack when it comes to these second round goalies. Coming in at number four, I have Sergei Bobrovsky. He was fantastic in his first round series against the Tampa Bay lightning but against the boston bruins it hasn't been really exciting to watch considering that boston really hasn't gotten too many shots on net but just taking a look at his numbers they're not as great as you might expect he has an 892 save percentage with a 262 goals against average with eight games played and six wins now i love goalie bob i think he's been phenomenal so far but there's some other guys on this list that deserve a notch above him i think goalie bob's going to be a huge part of this panthers team if they end up getting to the conference finals and facing the rangers i think he's going to have to step up big time but right now there have been a few shaky goals against him and if I was any coach I'm looking at the scouting report and saying shoot high blocker on this guy because almost all of the goals against on him are in that one spot goalie Bob is still phenomenal he makes my top four but I think these next three guys are just slightly above him now the top three this was incredibly hard to decide from but at number three I have Jake Ottinger throughout the playoffs he has a 914 save percentage a 2.24 goals against average with five wins in nine games played Otter is in his playoff form when this guy gets to the postseason you always see his best version and I think for the Dallas Stars that's exactly what they needed against the Vegas Golden Knights and now against this high high-powered offense with the Colorado Avalanche. If Otter can just play slightly above average, I think that the Dallas Stars are going to be the team to beat in this year's playoffs. And with him playing even better than slightly above average, I think that there's no way this team loses against anyone out West. 
Otter stays at number three, though. I don't think he's had his best yet, but he has been playing some lights out goaltending so far. Coming in at number two, I really wanted to put him at number one, but over the past couple games, he's looked a bit shaky, so I got to bump him down one for the top guy. At number two, I have Jeremy Swayman, a 931 save percentage with a 2.19 goals against average in nine games played with five wins. Now, Swayman looked phenomenal through the Toronto series, and at game one against the Panthers, he was fantastic as well. But these past two games allowing more than four goals it's just not the same swayman that we were seeing in round one and i think that there's just one guy who's been playing slightly better than him in round two regardless i don't think it's really a knock on swayman i think the defense for the bruins has been atrocious over these past few games and i expect swayman to bounce back but i can't really justify putting him higher than this number one guy and coming in at number one, it's the king of New York himself, Igor Shosturkin. Just when you thought that Igor Shosturkin was going to struggle for the entire season, he comes back right after the All-Star break, finds his game, and now in the postseason, he's elevated even higher. A 935 save percentage, 2.01 goals against average, seven games played, and he's won every single one of them. I think that the Rangers, they should be so thankful for this guy. They should have lost maybe two or three three games in this postseason but thanks to Igor they're kept in it he continues to get those big time saves and proves why he is the best goalie in the NHL above Connor Hellebuck above Ilya Sorokin and certainly above Sergei Bobrovsky I think this guy is going to be the biggest key piece for the New York Rangers and he's my con smite winner if the year ended right now Igor Shosturkin gets the number one spot and I don't think anybody's going to argue with me on this one he's just been so phenomenal in the postseason this year. But this is my final ranking. I have Igor Shosturkin at one, Jeremy Swayman at two, Jake Ottinger at three, Sergei Bobrovsky at four, Frederick Anderson at five, Stuart Skinner at six, Alexander Georgiev at seven, and Atur Salovs at eight. But let me know what you guys think. How would you rank the final eight starting goalies for round two of the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs? Drop your list below and make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one.